Uh, the next song is requested by Seth as well, and it's Night Wishes. Something Whispered, Follow Me. Hmm. This is one of my favorite songs on the album. Thomas reveals in an interview what this song is going to be about. Basically, about passions. Something that you wake up and start thinking about. And he encourages us all to find something that we love doing. Wow! That is so... That's so important. We don't all think of that, though. I think not this new day, this new age of people. You know, our millennials, or is it the millennials? What is our daughter? Is she a millennial? Yes. Well, they're really all about the self-care and, you know, finding things. They're about that. Um, but Thomas has always been ahead of his time. So let me ask you, baby, what things other than playing video games <laughs> do you enjoy doing? Watching TV with my wife. <laughs> We're boring. <laughs> <laughs> lifting, in, lifting weights, working out. Good. Learning about stock trading. Oh, there, there. And you know how much I love my podcasts and filling my brain with a lot of information I'll never need. Well, I wouldn't say you would never need it. Come on, let's be real. I feel my brain with things I don't ever need. Understanding everything is super fun. <laughs> to me, at least. I get bored learning things. But since we have a um, chaotic and sertorful voice, I want to know from you, Chaotic, give me one thing that you enjoy doing other than being such an amazing friend and, and, and co-assistant and, you know, all that good stuff. I used to like playing sports, but my body won't let me anymore. Aww. Yeah, I'm there too, buddy. Oh, you guys have made me sad. Stop. Well, what about you, Sir Torfield? Well, my interests have recently changed a lot because a lot of my time, like I said, was taken up by work. And I, um, to be really honest, I have to start after I'm done with all this, what I'm doing right now, I have to start looking at something that's fun and re restart something new to do to kind of be my new thing. You know, I used to love riding my bike and shit, oh. so I might start doing that up again. The motorcycle? No, bicycle. Oh. Okay, that sounds really good. All right. <laughs> well, let's do what Thomas says and let's find something we enjoy to do doing and, and chaotic. That's for you as well. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Night wish something whispered. Follow me. Something whispered. Whispered follow. Mm.
That was so beautiful. Definitely some progressive elements in this song. And they took it back. This is, this felt like a throwback, not a Nightwish throwback, but it felt like an older song. They dated this song, in my most humblest opinion ever. And it was just so yummy. It didn't sound like the usual symphonic metal to me. What about you, Wolf? I'll, I'll certainly agree with that. This is not the same symphonic metal that Nightwish started out doing. This is a bit more traditional, mm -hmm. which I guess does mean that their sound is a little different. But the thing is, it's not... Di so, you know, when there was an end of an era with Daria, mm -hmm. Daria. when I listened, you know, my, the, the, the biggest thing that sticks out to you when you listen to what comes after. Mm -hmm. So with, with Annette, it was still... It was still very symphonic-y. I mean, Poet and Pel Pendulum and all that stuff is so damn epic. But then when I hear the new album with Floor, they do start to have this sound. And I can't really pinpoint my finger on what the difference is. But there mm. is well, absolutely a difference between the Floor era and what preceded it. Gotcha, and, gotcha. And that's not to say that there's different eras within Nightwish 
during the Tharia era because there were, and even with the two Annette albums, um, they were significantly different. Mm -hmm. So Tomas is always inspired by certain uh, people or certain bands or stuff, and he'll typically, the next album will be something either more symphonic or more power metal-y or more, like he's, you know, a lot of his albums are like that. And certainly this is no different, but there is a there is a distinction at, with the floor albums that I'm that I'm hearing uh -huh. that is very very similar. Now I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm saying well, I, I mean it's good, but it's it's different. It's it, flores. It is. and this flores. has that sound. Yeah, there is more progressiveness. I do hear the, the 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 varying time signatures and stuff like that. The little variety that's here. The first half of the song, the message captured me, mm -hmm. and I could only think of Sir and how he needs to hear the whisper of his new hobby and what he'll be oh, doing yes. <laughs> but it was very um a, a very like powerfully positive message Absolutely. of finding like purpose and things to do yeah. and it was quite beautiful oh and it's within me oh it's there but this the second half yeah. hit me more musically okay the second half really started to pick up mm -hmm. uh the things that floor was doing and the things that the guitar was doing the things that the whole band was doing together it really just started to really hit for me musically overall musically the song was beautiful it was. but it's the second half that's going to bring me back to the song and listen to it again really okay yeah. well thank you for your and your uh feedback luminous says love all the creepy elements throughout this whole this whole cd steph says the guitar work on this is so much in the in my taste and she's doing so beautiful things, so, so much beautiful things with her voice love it yeah her voice was yeah. was um definitely so sweet um so light yeah but the second half which i love what she was doing in the second half absolutely the way she was singing the melodies and she was just kind of like musically going likewise and d1 is here by the way hey d1 yeah yeah i know he hey d1 how you doing mm -hmm. um i still have my hot topic from when i did it and i think some of the stuff that you guys were saying just now is if i just it's a single line or two lines actually kind of puts this back one of the things that they're saying this is their more, this is a more progressive album for them and second, what Thomas was saying is that this album sounds and tastes and feels strongly like the true essence of Night Witch, enriched with new moods and flavors. Interesting. Okay. okay. Well, well, the thing about fans new. is we can take <laughs> we can take the flavors of Night Witch that we prefer. Yeah. You know, some people like more salt, some people might like less salt. But overall, the flavor we you know everyone has a different palate for what they prefer. That is correct. <clears throat> Lumina says, also, I love this song even more now, knowing it's about a passion trailing you. Oh, a passion trailing you, like you don't have a choice. Yeah, you're right. Also, I think if you make an album that tells a story from beginning to end, the songs are going to have to be different within that story because it can't express the same emotion and the same feeling if the songs all are truly your stereotypical night wish it can't really do that whole storytelling process that way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're gonna have to make some alterations amongst the song or into within the different songs on the album lumina says also her voice in this song is a little less sweet you think so oh in the next song okay her voice in the next song okay gotcha gotcha i'm here for it. Fears that come at night, half-life sisters in the light we use. 